Hold on. Oh, hold, hold on. Hey guys, what's going on? And welcome to Shifting Lanes. My name's Chad, and what you don't see is my 2008 Volvo C30. We're we got a laundry list of things to do to her. We're checking them off, getting parts, all that other fun stuff. So today, I thought it'd be kind of cool to show you around the shop, show you the outside, and some cars we've been have, some basically cars that we've had sitting around uh, that need some love. That. Uh, who knows, if you guys like them, we might turn into some future projects. So getting right to it, you can obviously see lots of mowers. Uh, as many of you know, I work at a golf course. So these mowers are in various states. So we got one that's missing an engine. This is our greens mower. This actually is the workhorse. It's the only one we got. So it's the, uh, basically got to do a lot of different jobs. Uh, Fairway mower, you can tell by the reels there. Now, the fun thing about a lot of these is that they're hydraulically driven. So if you come down, I don't know if we're gonna be able to see it, but that is not a drive shaft. There's a little hydraulic motor right here. And that's how something like this, this Sidewinder here, has three wheel drive. Two in the front, one in the back. We have a uh, our hauler, which if you notice, three pedals, manual four-speed box. <laughs> then just some regular maintenance carts, uh, a sprayer. This is an aerator. So you can see the tines here. That's for punching holes in the grass and letting airflow get in there, to promote grass growth. This should be uh, interesting to some of you guys. Uh, this is a manual, uh, well, basically, this is a uh, tire mounter, dismounter. As you can see, we kind of got halfway through. Our tools include this thing <laughs> and this industrial shoehorn. Uh, we got about halfway through, and it's a real pain in the ass to try to muscle this thing through. So you can see the tire still not on the rim. We need to take that to a tire shop. Moving along, this is everybody's favorite golf cart. Uh, not because it's slightly disassembled, but because in here is basically in the summertime that has ice, that has adult beverages, snacks. That's right, that is the Bev cart. We have what this is known as a sand rake. It is exactly what it sounds like. It is uh, basically a quick and easy way to rake out bunkers. The problem is, is the motor shot in this, so we need a new motor for that. Um, buffalo blower, basically anybody familiar with landscaping knows what that does. We use it to blow leaves and other stuff uh, because we have a shit ton of acreage here to uh, get through. Um, some disassembled pallets, I'll get to that in a second. More pallets, can't really see, but my Koenigs are being hid under what we built a, a bar dog bowls in case you're interested uh, and this is kind of our our work area our wood shop area slash basically assemble anything area uh, we built that bad boy last night uh, came out really really well uh, you can see over there what looks like just kind of random uh, pallet wood uh, ripped and pulled together those are actually being used to make these we're actually, uh, we make these uh, um, pallet wood American flags. Uh, we are selling these, so if you're interested, email that address and uh, we'll make a deal. Uh, and yeah, but you didn't come here to kind of look, oh, there's the oxyacetylene torch that uh, we've only used a couple times. And over there in the distance is a welder. Now, this is all well and good, more mowers. Um, this is uh, part of my day job, or actually part of Lou's day job. My day job is uh, off there in the distance. I work in the golf shop. But uh, kind of some interesting stuff before we get to the cars is our graveyard. So we have various carts in various disrepair. Uh, this one here, 
again uh, another manual but uh, this one we believe the starters fried on um, haven't gotten a chance to look into it but that obviously back a digger there some random beds more pallets a trailer that's seen better days but this is kind of our graveyard so this is where most of our carts go to die uh, as you can see we got another approach slash t mower um, pretty much all these you see are dead or deader um, some more stuff over there and so on we actually <laughs> we have more dead carts than working ones so what we use a lot of those for is we cannibalize them to keep the the machines that are actually working up and running uh, we have a bit of a tiny budget so that's what we have to do to make things work now out to what you all signed up for cars so what we have here we have a Camaro uh, I want to say fourth gen someone's gonna definitely correct me on that uh, but this has an automatic and a puny little six cylinder in it. You can kind of see, hopefully see the automatic in there. Um, my Volvo, the Camaro, uh, we're kind of holding for someone. Uh, they're thinking about doing, you know, the ubiquitous LS swap to her. But uh, I always kind of like these things with a wide body, a big ass wing, basically Trans Am spec. Then moving here, we have the C30. Um, she's not forgotten. Definitely gonna continue to work on her. We are, uh, we're just accumulating parts and getting things that I can't fix, fix to her. She will be making a reappearance, hopefully soon. And we have an old, well, not an old, but a early 2000s Explorer. This one actually runs like a champ. It, uh, the problem is, is that some of the electrics on the dashboard are starting to go. Uh, good little workhorse. Uh, there's not much you can do to these apart from taking out that puny little six cylinder and putting something a little more interesting in it. Uh, this was a fun story. Uh, we were playing golf and uh, Lou's sister actually had the car at the time and she just opened it up. I guess the, uh, the struts on the inside had gone and the window shattered. Uh, so we went to a junkyard and got a gold one. I don't know, kind of digging the look. Over here, we have a 4.7 liter Dodge Durango that, again, just she works hard. She uh, She's strong. The problem with her is that she is, uh, the crank angle sensor has gone bad and it's in a really really bad spot which makes it really difficult to get at but yeah i always actually kind of really like these durangos kel shelby actually played around with one of these uh they're really cool um who knows maybe a uh an off-road vehicle a four by four it's already got the v8 so we free up a uh, pretty simple v8 free up some horsepower there lift uh four-wheel drive who knows um and then lou's car which is a dodge neon srt four which uh he's owned since new uh the thing with this car is we have as you can kind of see from the not at all small amount of water on the inside of the windshield we have a leak somewhere we thought originally thought it was somewhere in the sunroof but uh, i think it's somewhere down in here or a combination thereof um this thing has seen a long and uh I've seen a, it's seen a long life, so the bodywork isn't exactly 100%, but these things are little pocket rockets. They are so much fun to drive. They make all the right turbo noises. This is a manual car, so three pedals for the win. Uh, oh, the other thing is that's where the exhaust should be. Um, we may or may not have cut the exhaust off right about here and so on and so forth but yeah these things were basically pretty hot i think they came from factory with about 240 horse or 240 horsepower um again blow off noises wastegate noises and the lot 
Yeah, that's it. These are just some of the cars we have lying around that are in need of some TLC. Uh, comment down below on which one you think would make for a fun project, uh, and maybe we'll get to it. Uh, I want to thank everyone for watching. If you want to hit us up on social media, it's at Shifting Lanes. I'm at Chennedy83. Don't forget to check us out uh, on Teespring. Get yourself some really awesome Volvo Shifting Lanes swag um, and non-Volvo swag it's it's pretty much all there it's really awesome we use all that money to basically create more content for you guys and we really appreciate everything you guys do uh as for this one guys uh that's a wrap and i will hold on hold hold, hold on that's exciting i will see you guys next time